a Christmas poem that we're doing together. It's called That Terrible Weight. There is a terrible weight that can settle in over Christmas, leaving us saddened, caught in a siege of wanting that squeezes out joy, an expectation no surprise can ever lift. Can you feel it in your chest? A heaviness that leaves the eyes weary, while the mind, that sad old accountant, adds up the evidence no gift can ever balance out. The voice says, they never gave me what I wanted. They never really knew me. Yet something can happen. You could wake up at 2 a.m. on Christmas morning and feel a simple happiness to be warm in your covers. You could watch the day dawn in slow motion and find it effortless, easy, simply a day. You could watch your children open presents and see they are content with what is simply enough. You could realize you don't need anyone to give you anything. When someone does hand you a gift, you could discover the gentle pleasure of surprise. When the great swirl of snow begins, your 72-year-old mother could invite all of you outside to play. You could bundle up against the stinging wind and make snow angels and run into each other laughing. You could all venture down the path into the woods, singing lions and tigers and bears, oh my! Your mother could sneak up behind you and say, watch out for monkeys. And you could realize this is the first time you remember that she's played with you like you were a little girl. Later, you could climb into the freezing guest beds with your almost teenage daughter, and you could both squeal and laugh, ooh, cold, 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 as your toes stretch into the icy sheets, and your daughter could stretch her arms around you, so happy to be playing like a kid with her mom, and sleep with her arms around you all night. And you could suddenly see the pearl has been floating down 